Hello, it is Leslie Lois Unfiltered. Happy Shoes Day. I'm going to talk about that in um, just a minute. But um, I want to talk to you about something I'm a tad bit concerned about. Um, it has nothing to do with the coronavirus, okay? Let's, let's start with that. Um, I don't know if you can tell. So I, I, th I, I have a little bit of redness on my face, okay? So uh, this is what it, I put some powder on it, but check out this picture of what it looked like this morning. So yeah, that's with like no makeup on and it like it's all the um all these bumps almost like a rash. Well, yesterday I decided to use a beauty mask. Um uh here's here's a picture I tried to get of it. Hopefully this works. I did this beauty mask. I've only done like two of these in my entire life. And afterwards, I have to say like it was really nice. Like my skin felt super soft and uh and silky and stuff and I was like oh cool you know and it was fine all day and then I woke up this morning and it was it's just on my cheeks too and they're it's all bumpy now I put some powder over it so it's not as extreme as you see in the picture is that normal <laughs> I'm like wondering did my face have a reaction to the mask uh <laughs> did it was it sitting maybe too long before I used it I I don't know and I'm hoping uh, these bumps go away because <laughs> I, I won't need any blush I guess for a while because <laughs> my cheeks are nice and rosy naturally right now but it kind of freaked me out so if you have any uh, if that's kind of normal if it's kind of supposed to do that or maybe my skin did not agree with the ingredients I have no idea so uh, yeah that's probably why I don't do these very often because <laughs> stuff like that will happen to me <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to today, which is Happy Shoes Day. So um, these are shoes I'm hi highlighting today for you. Um, I love these because, uh, duh, they're a wedge. I love my wedges. But also they're kind of cool with these little strappy things at the front too, kind of mix them. And depending on what you wear them with, they can be for dressy or they could be casual too, and they're not too high. And I don't know the name brand of these, but um, they are super, like they have a nice cushioning. I don't know if you can see all in here how much like absorbing it does on your feet. So that's another reason I really like them because I'm all about comfort these days. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I hope things are going well with you and social distancing is going well with you. Uh, I, ha I have to say earlier, I read an article uh, of a woman in her who healthy, very fit 45 year old woman who ended up contracting the virus. She was at a fundraiser and I guess there were a lot of people there who traveled from different parts of the world. And so she literally went day by day on what happened and how long it took for her to get tested in the first place because um, she didn't always have, like she didn't have all the symptoms at first and then they thought it was the flu and oh, well you haven't traveled anywhere. And that seems to be the biggest problem is like people I know aren't getting, can't get tested that have a lot of the symptoms because oh, well you haven't traveled anywhere or you're not showing any symptoms but yet you were around somebody who contracted the virus. I just, I know that's because we are short of test kits. But it's super frustrating to know that people that um, could have it literally aren't getting tested. Oh, well, you haven't been in any, in any you know, you haven't traveled or been in any, any contact with someone. I'm like, how do you know if you've not been, if you've been in contact with someone? They might not have had symptoms. Like, <laughs> that is the most frustrating thing. As far as social distancing, I know this may came, come as a surprise to you, but I tend to be a little bit more of an extrovert than an introvert. Some of my friends are introverts, so they don't mind this, uh, this self-quarantining. They're loving it because they don't really necessarily want to be around people, so this is perfect for them. But for those of us who um, are more uh, extrovert and want to like socialize, there's a couple of things I've been learning to do that um, that I feel like is is good and keeps me social with people that I need that after a while. One of them um, is doing is uh, doing like a virtual happy hour. I did that last week with my couple of my girlfriends. Now it's easy to do on FaceTime if you all have iPhones, but not all my girlfriends have iPhones. And so there's a couple of different apps you can use. I believe Zoom is a popular one that a lot of people are using right now. There, I don't know if it's the, we downloaded a Google app. I don't know if that's the same thing as Zoom, but that's how we all got to talk to each other. So I'm gonna do that uh, again. I might try that tonight again, cause that's just a lot of fun with some friends getting together. Of course I do have my husband, but he's working and stuff. And so, so during the day, 
it's a little tougher. Uh, I d definitely get outside and walk around. In fact, today I was walking around. Uh, this is how I was walking around and still being able to interact with people. Check it out. Now that was uh, some of my neighbors who wanted to get out and walk as well. We just made sure that we kept our distance from each other uh, and we got a really nice walking because it's a beautiful day here. Uh, maybe hopefully you can get out and interact and of course you can walk your dog. Uh, yeah, talk to people on the phone. It's funny, I'm talking to my mom a lot. She's like calling me every day and I think that's just because the mom and her you know, she, I'm not there. You know what I mean? I'm like 2000 miles away from her. So, uh, she's definitely calling me a lot more to check up on me and just give me updates on stuff. So, uh, I think that's normal for any mom that is away from their kids. So, uh, those are just some tips to, to help you, um, get through your, like the self quarantining and, uh, yet still be interactive. Like I like to be. So um, share some ideas if you have ideas on what to do when you're self-quarantined but still want to have a social interaction with people. And if you have any advice, if you think it's normal about the, the bumps on my cheeks only uh, from this mask, this beauty mask I wore yesterday, I really appreciate it. All right, happy shoes day, and I hope you're having a great day. Keep a smile on your face. I, I try to always think something positive every day and uh, thankful for everything that I have and the people that in my life that I love and uh, I'm healthy and happy and uh, you know so I'm grateful for all of that and I'm grateful for you so thanks I'll talk to you later on the next Leslie Lois Unfiltered bye